Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetSpeed.com, and today we are going to tell you how you can actually use Gmail on Nokia X. Nokia X has been built on the platform which is called Android Open Source (AOSP), and Nokia has actually taken that platform, especially on 4.1.2 Jelly Bean, and they have developed this custom version of Android, which actually uses the Nokia API, but it does not use this the Google API. That means the Google-related application like Gmail. Uh, Google Play Store, Google Maps, they will not work on this phone. And again, we have tried installing those applications. Now, if we take a look over this phone, we have installed some applications which again come from Google, and they uses the Google API. And we have tried running these application previously as well, but these application does not run, and they crash. So, for example, we have the Gmail application. Uh, this is again the APK file with which we installed the Gmail application, the official e APK file. And again, Gmail does not work on this device because the APK uh, does not actually convey the kind of API. It's because all the API which are going to be used on this phone is going to be from Nokia API. A Google API as are not supported on this phone because this is not a certified Google Play Store phone, especially from Google. Now an alternative on this phone, especially in case you want to use Gmail on this phone, uh, you can still use Gmail on this phone. You can configure the default email account on this phone with the help of your Gmail username and password and you are good to go. That means the default application on the phone which is actually over here, which is called the email application. You can actually configure your Gmail account within this email application. You just need to launch this and then you need to specify your email address and password and let me just do it right now. Once you specify your Gmail username and password, it will actually fetch that account for you and it will configure that account automatically. Now here you can actually specify at what time interval you would like to refresh your inbox. So you can select it to 5 minutes, 10 minutes, never 15 minutes, 30 minutes or hour as well. Let's specify it to 15 minutes as if now and sync per size can also be specified which can be maximum 1 MB. So let me just specify that and again it gives you the option whether you would like to send email from this account which you have configured so you can select this option once you have selected all these options now you can actually uh, see that you will receive email notifications as well for any gmail new emails which you will receive and you will also have the option of downloading the attachments as well which come within the email of your gmail inbox so once it is configured it will first of all ask your name so you just need to specify your name which could be anything custom you would like to specify yourself and once you do that you can click on next and now it will configure the final thing for you and once it configures it will fetch all the emails of your gmail account on this phone so this way you can actually use gmail on this phone without installing any application without thinking about anything uh, you can actually use gmail on this phone with the help of this application and here you will see that all the emails are being fetched from my gmail account as of now on this device and again we are using the default email application on this device and let me just open an email for you so this is an email which has been sent to me and you can see that you can see the images as well within the email you just need to tap on show pictures just like gmail application and this is how you can actually read email you can reply to that as well from here you can reply you have the option of reply all and other options as well you have all the other regular options related to the email over here so you can use gmail on this device another way to use gmail on this device is something different with, with which you can actually use that gmail account uh, if you don't want to configure it within the email application you can use that gmail account within the browser for example you have opera browser which comes pre-installed you can go to opera and then you can go to m.gmail.com within the opera browser as the address bar which where you can actually type this address and then you can use the gmail uh, in the web browser mode with the help of opera uh, which comes pre-installed opera from android and then there are some other application as well there is one one more application i would like to tell you and this application is called gmail v2 so it is called gmail v2 and once you install this application this application will again configure your account and it will also show you the email of your account in the web based format this is application is again a kind of web based application which actually fetches your email uh, on this phone and then you can use your gmail 
like this and other services as well in case you are missing calendar web as well you can actually use maps as well this way so the best way to use google applications on this device either it is gmail either it is youtube or any application which is primarily uh, as far as the official applications which are not supported on this device because this device does not support google api you can actually use these application in the browser mode and you can use these application over here uh, which includes try photos you can also use maps as well in this way so you can use google maps as well on this device with the help of this application which is called gmail version 2 and in order to install this application you just need to go to one mobile market again and again let me just show you one mobile market as well now if we go down you will see the one mobile market this is the one mobile market where you can actually go and install this application called gmail version 2 and in order to install one mobile market you just need to search anything for any application which you are not able to find in the store once you search for any application which is not located or which is not there on the store it will give you the option of installing it from the one mobile market first of all you will have to install one mobile market and then you can install those applications uh, on this phone just like the gmail version 2 and this is how you can use gmail on this device without rooting the device without unlocking the bootloader this is one way of using gmail either with the help of inbuilt application the email application or with the help of third party application like gmail version 2 or opera mini with the with which you can actually use the web based version of gmail on this device without any issues but one limitation will be there that is whenever you are using the web based version of gmail on this phone with the help of browser or with the help of these application you will not be able to send file as attachments whereas if you have configured your gmail account with the default email application uh, which is there on the phone you can actually send photos and other files from this phone using the gmail uh, which you have configured through the email client email application you can send the files within the email uh, as an attachment from the phone so that's all from us do let us know if you have any specific question for this device we would love to help you you can like this video if this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you